Welcome back here. So um, if you followed my journey with the Challenger SRT8 behind me, you have realized that I am now finally finished with the project. So in this video, I'm just solely going to explain the products that I've used and why I use them. So starting out, when I got the car back, I needed to wash the vehicle. So that was, of course, step one. So I have some Car Pro Reset here. So this is basically a shampoo um, that has a high dense foam. It's, uh, it's highly concentrated and it's uh, basically made to prep your vehicle in order to throw a ceramic coating or a graphene ceramic coating on the paint. So that was step one, I washed it with Car Pro Reset. I like this product, I use it slightly sparingly, you know, when I need to, I will use it, um, but I like this product a lot. Next, after I washed it, of course I washed the engine bay too, so that was kind of step one. So then I used this um, McGuire's Hyper Dressing. This is super expensive, but very well worth it. I sprayed it on my engine bay, got it all clean, it dries when it's wet, and, uh, I use this here. So this is not the last time you're going to be seeing this. So next after that, um, this was used of course during the wash process. After that, I had some PPF on the paint. It was old, it was yellow, you know, it was probably, it's got to be 10 years old. So I pulled all that off uh, by hand and then what I did uh, was of course, I had to pull the adhesive off as well. So the paint was still clean because I just washed the vehicle. Uh, but I had PPF everywhere on the car, on the front hood, on the front fascia, along the sides of the car, on the back. There was PPF everywhere. It was old, it was yellow, it was scratched up. There was really nothing that could be done. So next, I bought a couple products, but I only ended up using two. So the first, which I don't have, is 3M auto adhesive remover and then I used about half this container of the 3M general purpose adhesive cleaner. So this process was the most laborious and uh, it was very labor intensive. Um, trying to see here if I have my yellow, I ha did have some yellow like fiberglass fillers, spreaders that I used. Um, they were like a detail squeegee basically that I used in unison with that to try to peel off the PPF adhesive. It was really, really bad. Um, if you watch the previous videos, you will see that. So that was the next step. And while doing this step, I noticed that the paint had just horrendous, horrendously bad hard water stains um, etched into the paint. I've never seen hard water stains like this before in my life, except maybe with my 97 year old grandpa's town and country minivan it was just that horrendously bad so i ended up using two products on this on the product or on the side of the vehicle where it went down at 90 degrees as you can see i used the um Riot's garage water spot remover it worked well but in my testing i didn't find that it worked as well as the chemical guys heavy duty water spot remover so this is a gel you can see I didn't use a whole ton of it. Um, why I chose that over this was because it took, it, it felt like I was doing a better job because it took longer to use the product, to spread it on. And thankfully the car, even though this is a large car, it didn't take overly long. I just used it on a hood, on the mirrors, on the roof, and on the back, uh, the back part of the car, any place where there was a flat area that had those watermarks etched into it. And I just use this as a safety, as basically a safety on the sides of the vehicle in case there was a couple hard water spots on there, but I really didn't notice. So then after that, um, I rewashed the vehicle. And while this does say quick mist and white detailer, I have it filled with McGuire's Express Wax. Um, I like that product a lot. I swear by it. It is fantastic. You could use this quick mice, mist and white detailer as well. And they're both going to work the same. But I used Express Wax. After I rewashed the vehicle with Car Pro again, mixed 
uh, Car Pro the first time, then I rewashed it with Car Pro and Dawn dish soap mixed in to make sure I got all of this uh, material off the vehicle along with this 3M adhesive remover. So at that point, it was time to get into the nitty gritty. So I did all the hard work, I did all the labor intensive work taking the PPF off of the paint and taking the PPF adhesive off the tape, off the paint. I probably had, I would say six hours, uh, yes, six to seven hours in terms of actually taking the PPF adhesive off of the paint along with the PPF itself. So then we got into the nitty gritty and I first started with the professional ultra finishing polish. This is McGuire's 205. I swear by this stuff. You know, it's not gonna take any deep scratches out or anything like that. I've used it on my truck. I've used it on the Durango. I've used it on my 300 SRT. You know, it, it really gives it a great shine, a great finish, but it doesn't take out some of those deeper scratches or watermarks. So I found that this just wasn't doing it. So I ended up getting some McGuire's Ultimate Compound. And I was actually very, very impressed with it. While again, it doesn't take off some of those uh, deeper watermarks, I figured pairing it with this here might give it a shot. And uh, it, it did very well. Um, this brought the paint back to probably 80% uh, better quality than what it was before. You know, there's still some scratches that I just couldn't get out with this. I might need a thicker cut compound and a different pad. And uh, you know, that would do it. But the paint was where I was happy with it. For a car that, you know, cost maybe double the money of this car, I would have probably used something different. But for me, this product did, did a really good job and uh, I was very happy with the results. So I took my time doing that and uh, got that done. I used my trusty, I just love this thing. It is the Torx, Torque, whatever you want to call it, T-O-R-Q. Torque um, polisher here, the DA polisher. Um, I, I just, I love this thing. It's got speed settings one to six, and uh, you basically do whatever you want, and it's, you know, it's never gonna hurt the paint. It's, it's exceptionally nice. It's a little heavy, but I've used this to do so many cars. It's been full of proof and flawless. So while that was going on, I would do each section of time, then I would spray it with this McGuire's Final Inspection Mist. It's like a quick mist. It's like a um, quick mist and wipe here, uh, but I like this product a little bit better for taking off residues, polishes, anything like that. So then I did that each section at a time, and then when I was actually done with the final um, compounding, I went over the vehicle with this mother's surface prep. So it removes waxes, oils, polishing residue, and fillers, promotes an optimal bond for lasting ceramic protection. Silicone-free, anti-static, residue-free polish, simply spray and wipe off. This is fantastic stuff. Here's what I don't understand. So I live in a slightly rural area, but I still have tons and tons and tons of these auto parts stores. Nobody carries a product like this or an isopropyl alcohol spray that takes off waxes or fillers. So I had to order this off Amazon. That kind of held up the held up the project a little bit, but uh, I made it work with this and it was well worth the wait. So the paint was finally prepped and ready to go for ceramic coating. So this is where I've used this product before. This is the Adams Polishes Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating. So this isn't what I used on my truck. It isn't what I used on the Durango either. It's what I used on my 300 and uh, I've used it two years in a row on that now, essentially, or two, I should say two seasons in a row. And uh, I'm very happy with the results. For a black vehicle, you are bound to have issues with paint. You're going to have issues with marring, with scratching, whatever. It's gonna happen in a year's time. So this allows you to uh, essentially at the end of the season and the winter season or whenever you're driving this for us Midwesterners up here, you know, you can go back and polish your paint again, get all those mars and scratches out from the washing season or the driving season or whatever. And, uh, and you can just reapply that. It's as simple as that. It's, it's very simple, it works really well. And to tell you the truth, 
on a black car or any car that shows scratches, I would much rather have that, uh, uh, I guess, security in knowing that I can fix my paint than having to cut through the ceramic coating of a seven or nine year product. That just doesn't make sense to me. I found that out, especially after putting the nine year product on the Durango because you know, you're just due to have accidents happen or marring or scratching happen. So you don't want to have to cut through any sort of, of ceramic coating to make it just that much harder for you. So I applied this, it worked great. Um, I buffed it off with a towel. Actually here are those yellow little filler things. I just scraped along the paint to get that off. It doesn't scratch, if it does scratch, you're correcting the paint anyway. So that's why I wasn't worried. And uh, finally here, we're getting towards the end. I put the graphene tire dressing on. The tires look great. I like this stuff. It stays on there for a couple weeks. You know, it's not great, but in the winter season, you're when it's just gonna sit in the shop. This stuff is very well, and it's not very expensive. And finally, I just got this new product from Lithium Auto Care, which I'm very impressed with. I applied this uh, graphene infused trim respiration cube kit. So essentially, it's just like it says, it's graphene infused. You go along the black trim. It time will tell, but it's supposed to make it more black. And for the last couple hours here after I've done it, it's done that job very, very well. So. Um, oh, oh, I forgot. Hyperdressing was the last thing I applied to the wheel wells. So this stuff, I like it. It's 30 bucks for this bottle, but it's very well worth it for your vehicle. And uh, that's it. My Challenger is completely done. We'll take a walk around the car here. So here's the car. It's completely done. You can see those wheel wells are black. The tires are shined. The tires are ceramic coated. The Brembo's are, are shined up. The trim is black and the paint is almost perfect. So overall, I'm very, very happy with how this project went. I probably had um, 30 hours into it at least, but very well worth it. And that doesn't include the interior time at all either. So. If you have any questions, reach out in the comments here. I will be glad to answer any of them.